my channel. Today on Creative Glam, I am participating in a kitchen organization tag. And this kitchen organization tag is being hosted by, hosted by Chrissy. She has a wonderful channel here on YouTube and I'm excited to participate in the kitchen organization tag. Now she's given us a list of 10 questions and we have to go through and answer these questions in regards to kitchen organization. So let's get started. I have my phone here with, with the questions on it. So let's see. The first question is, do you have a pantry? If so, how often do you clean it out or organize it? Yes, I have a pantry. Um, I clean it out and organize it all the time. I think I'm in there tweaking and turning and moving and you know, moving things around. Every time I go into it, I'm that kind of person. I walk through my home and I'm touching and I'm moving things all the time. Now, like a spring, a, a, a serious remove everything out and place it back kind of thing. I'm gonna be honest, I probably do that once a year. Probably about once a year and it's usually around springtime. But as I said, um, pretty much every day I'm going through and I'm shaking cereal boxes and I, I, I'm going through and I'm moving things around and making sure that everything is in its place uh, when I do my grocery shopping, I often stand in the pantry and see what is low and what's not. I can't always depend on my family members to tell me uh, when something is gone, when they've used the last of something. So um, to answer that question, how often do I organize it? I'm going to say I do an annual overhaul, so to speak, but every day I'm in there tweaking and organizing. Do you store paper goods in your kitchen? Uh, i.e. paper plates, napkins, and towels. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I store those things in my pantry as well. Um, we use a lot of paper plates. Um, I have young adult children um, who are in and out of my home. So I use a lot of paper plates and I do keep those things in my pantry. I keep my paper plates in there. I keep napkins in there. I keep my paper towels in there because I use paper towels not only in the kitchen, but I also use paper towels in the half bath that's on this same level. So um, I do, I keep those kind of paper products in there all the time. I even keep uh, the tissue in the pantry too. Um, I keep, if I buy it in bulk, if I happen to get a mass quantity of it, I will take it to the basement and store it in my storage area, in my storage room. Uh, but I try and keep a supply up here so I don't have to make that trip down to the basement when I need a paper towel or when I need to, you know, get napkins or something or if I need to get paper plates I don't want to have to make a trip to do it so yes the answer to that question is yes do you have a command center slash space i.e. message board key drops calendars etc yes I find that it's imperative to have that type of um, command center so to speak in a home a functioning home when you have a family um, I don't use it as much as I used to now because as I said, my children are young adults, so they are kind of off and doing their own scheduling, but I still try and track myself and my husband. I have a calendar in my, you can't see it, but it's this way. I have a calendar that's going back towards the mud room in the storage room, um, the mud room in the laundry room back around the corner there. Um, and I have, that's the message board. The message board is across from the calendars on one side, the message board is on the other. And then at the garage door, which is also around that corner, is a place to hang your coats and a place to hang your keys. So that's my command center, so to speak. That's what I use. I don't use it as much as I used to when my children were smaller, but that is still very much my command center. Uh, it's my mud room slash laundry room slash entry from the garage slash command center. <laughs> it's kind of everything. It, it catches it all. Um, do you have a junk drawer? I absolutely do. My junk drawer is right next to my dishwasher. Well, it's the one over. It's, it's, it's next to the dishwasher. And that's where I keep my junk. I, I organize that often. I have a, you know, the tray organizers in there. That's where the ink pens are. That's where the calculator is. I have a stapler, stapler remover, scissors, uh, a screwdriver that has all the little different mechanisms inside in case you need something really quick, something you can get your hands on. Um, sometimes it's even things that I found, uh, coins that I find while doing laundry. It, somehow, 
money ends up in this drawer and I have a little slot for it and I take it and drop it in my change well in my husband's change jar after it builds up so I have all kinds of stuff in there I have my dry erase pens for my erase board that sits on top of that sits um, on the on the refrigerator so I have dry erase pens ink pens calculators uh, screwdrivers scissors rulers change from the laundry uh, random screws and all that kind of stuff so I do I clean it out often because it can get out of control really <laughs> really quick so I find that when I take the change out of there that, that I've collected from the laundry and move it to my husband's change jar I also try to clean out any random paper clips and random anything that doesn't have a home I find my, I'm that kind of person I clean that way I'm constantly going I don't pick a specific day to do uh, uh well yes I do yes I do I do pick a particular day to do mass cleaning but I'm always touching and moving and and purging daily uh let's see oh and that's the next question how often do you purge your kitchen gadgets oh kitchen gadgets like your manual can opener and etc mm, not often because I don't use a lot of kitchen gadgets um Unless other mitts count in gadgets, which I don't think so, I don't really use, I, I, I don't use a lot of kitchen gadgets. Um, I wonder if you mean like, well, like small appliances and things like that. I, I don't, I don't have kitchen gadgets. I don't have a lot of kitchen gadgets. So how often do I purge? Probably biannually. You know, uh, I'll, I'll change, like, you know, if I need a new blade for the food processor, um, if I need new cups for the bullet, um, utensils and spoons and things like that. I don't purge nearly as often as I used to because, again, now that my uh, my children have moved on, they don't melt spoons as often. <laughs> Certain, you know, things tend to stay the way I keep them now because, you know, it's just my husband and I. I would say I purge my kitchen gadgets, you know, not very often, maybe, I wouldn't say biannually, I'd say maybe every year or so, or when needed. Oh, how do you store your spices? In the cabinet or in the drawer? I, I tend to put my spices in a drawer. They are in the, uh, the drawer next to my stove, that way it's easiest to get to the spices. Even the ones that I like, the herbs that I grow over the summertime, I will grow basil and rosemary and oregano and those different things. And then I dry them and then I put them in a jar and I put those next to the spices that I, the turmeric and I have a large, I have a vast quantity of spices. I like to cook with spices. So you'll find that um, my drawer, my collection of spices is, is pretty large. I, I, I'm a spice queen. I sprinkle spices all over the food. <laughs> I like the food spicy, not hot, but spicy. I, I season well. So I, I, my seasonings stay in a drawer. The ones that I make, the ones that I grew and, and, and uh, dry, and the ones that I purchased from the store in a drawer next to the stove. Um, how do you store your lefto, how do you store how do you store your leftover food storage containers? How do you store the leftover food containers? Tupperware or plastic containers. I store them in the cabinet. Um, they're stackable. So uh, because most of my things are in my pantry, I have a lot of cabinet space between my laundry room and my pantry. I don't have a lot of things like that any big things like that in my cabinet. So because my Tupperware, my glass containers are stackable, I stack them in the cabinet up above. And then the last question, number 10, is do you prefer to store small appliances on your countertop or elsewhere? If so, where do you store them? I store them again in the cabinets. I usually store the larger things either in the bottom cabinets or on the top shelves in my laundry room. It all depends on how often that I use it. Like my um, my uh, crock pot is in the laundry room on the top shelf, but the waffle iron, which we use often, is in the bottom shelf in the cabinet, along with the uh, along with the um, the uh, blender. 
the blenders down there, the bullets down there, the it all depends on how often we use it. If I don't use it that often, it's gonna go up into the pantry. It's gonna go up on the shelves, the top shelves in the laundry room. If I use it often, like the waffle iron and the blender, cause we make smoothies a lot, I'm gonna use, it's gonna be down either in the bottom shelf of the island or in one of the bottom shelves of the cabinets. I don't like things on my countertop. I try and keep my countertop is empty as I possibly can. There are some things that I have up there, but for the most part, what you see up there now is it. That's it. It's always like that. Uh, when I pull the blender out to make smoothies, we clean it and we put it away. I don't like things sitting on the countertops. Yeah, so uh, that's it. <laughs> that was quick, or at least it felt like it was quick. That's how I keep my kitchen organized. Again, like I say, I probably do an annual cleaning where I purge, where I actually pull everything out and purge things. I probably do that once a year, but I'm constantly checking on the things in my pantry, in my laundry room, in my kitchen, throughout my home. I'm constantly touching and, and cleaning things out and removing things and getting rid of things when I'm doing laundry, when I'm buying groceries, when I'm putting groceries away, when I'm cleaning. I try and get rid of anything that I'm not using because I do find less is more. I try and keep it that way so that when I do my annual cleanings, it doesn't turn into a event. You know, it's, it's enough that I have to go through and do that type of cleaning, but I don't want it to turn into a bigger event than it has to be if I continually purge. So I continually purge on a regular basis. I would say almost daily. And uh, this was fun. I thank you all for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed my kitchen organization tag that was hosted by, hosted by Chrissy. I will link her channel below. And again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the subscription button and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'd really love to hear from you. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Bye.